Hey guys, I'm going to explain you now in theory what the MDB bus is and how it works. You have seen the coffee machine in the first part of the video. So, we have somewhere a controller, which is typically called the vending machine controller. This vending machine controller is a cable coming from the coffee machine to all its peripherals. The peripherals, there's a lot. There's, for example, bill acceptors, coin acceptors, credit card terminals. You saw that little key upstairs. These are all peripherals. I didn't bring the coffee machine because it's too heavy. So that coffee machine comes out with a cable, which typically looks like this, and goes to its peripherals. And the unique property of MDB bus is that you can have multiple of these peripherals. So one taking the bills, one taking the coins, and one maybe taking your credit card. All these readers are peripherals connected to the MDB bus. And of course, these peripherals, especially the heavy ones, will need power. So typically you have a separate power source somewhere being part of this bus. That's basically what MDB is about uh, from the technical part. It's all about these cables with these connectors. And for physical reasons, a lot of the products have two connectors, so you can wire in and out to make a real daisy chain. But don't uh, get fooled, this is all the same signal going on all the same bus. This is the MDB bus, the physical occurrence, how you find it in the coffee machine. In the next sequence, I will explain you technically how that works and what a master and a slave is.